गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव आर नाइन्थ क्लास फिजिक्स फॉर चैप्टर सिक्स हीट एंड एनर्जी एज आफ्टर फिनिशिंग आर फर्स्ट टर्म एग्जाम्स वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन विद आर यूनिट टू सो द फर्स्ट चैप्टर विच वी आर हैविंग इन यूनिट टू इज हीट एंड एनर्जी सो लेट्स बिगिन विद दिस चैप्टर द फर्स्ट टॉपिक विच दे हैव गिवन इज concept of heat that is heat as energy so firstly we want to begin with the chapter that what is heat how heat is being produced heat banti kaise hai so for that you have many examples around you aapke paas bahut sare examples hai aapke aas paas the first example in your daily life when you rub your hands when you rub your hands together you feel the hotness of the after rubbing that hotness is the production of heat how is this heat is produced when you rub the heat, rub your hands this happens that we all know everything is made up of molecules and atoms and when we are going to rub the hands our hands molecules are in faster motion when we rub our hands our molecules start moving with faster speed so that speed enables the body to generate the heat energy jo dusri energy hai that is converted into heat energy that energy heat energy is always being produced due to the motion of the object so whenever we are talking about the concept of heat we always remember that when the particles are moving with greater speed the heat energy is being generated same way now you are driving your activas your bikes your cars and so many other vehicles how they are going to run the petrol or the diesel which you use to fill in your tanks of the vehicle when you ignite it in the beginning the self start you do with the key when you ignite it means you are giving ignition to the engine when you ignite that particular petrol diesel or the uh, fuel which you have put already in the tank that is going to convert the chemical energy to heat energy that heat energy is moving that particular engine and your vehicle is going to move from one place to another so they have given you so many examples which are already around you electric current in the metallic wire so it may again uh, example of heat energy the wire get heated why it is get heated because motion of electrons is there in the wire electrons are continuous in motion when you give the electrical energy they are in faster motion hence the wires are going to be heated up on burning of the coal we get heat on pumping air in the bicycle tube the barrel of the pump get heated up in this ke in all these cases heat is produced either by doing work or by providing energy in one form to another form other than heat means whatever the examples they have given in this what we have done we just given one form of energy humne apni taraf se ek energy di and at the last what we have seen that some part of our energy which has been supplied is being converted into heat energy so what is a heat heat is a form of energy so we now from now onwards we already know that heat is a form of energy which is a by product of conversion of energy by product means we don't want the our energy to be converted into heat energy but still at the end of the conversion we get heat energy fine so each body is made up of molecule i have already told you the random motion is there due to the motion force of attraction reduces and the energy possessed by the body is changes into heat energy so what is heat heat is a form of energy we have another definition now you can please note it down on your notebook 
energy which flows from hot body to cold body is called heat वो एनर्जी जो हॉट बॉडी से ट्रेवल करे कोल्ड बॉडी की तरफ उसे हम कहते हैं हीट एनर्जी सो नाउ कम्स टू नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज यूनिट ऑफ एनर्जी नॉर्मली वी नो दैट आर एनर्जी इज इक्वल्स टू वर्क हमारी एनर्जी किसके बराबर है वर्क के बराबर सो द यूनिट ऑफ वर्क इज ऑल्सो द यूनिट ऑफ एनर्जी सो द यूनिट ऑफ एनर्जी इज जाउल इट्स यूनिट सिम्बल इज capital g when we write the full name of joul as it is the name of scientist so according to the conditions or the rules the joul must be written with small g if we write the full name it's always written as small g and if we write only symbolic form the capital j must be written so this is the si unit of energy so now comes to cgs unit cgs unit is erg so what is the relation between joule and erg means between si unit and cgs unit that is 1 joule is equals to 10 raised to power 7 erg so sometime this case comes to your paper that what how these two are related or prove the relation so if you want to derive you firstly start with work what is work force into displacement what is force mass into acceleration what is s displacement distance so mass is kg acceleration is meter per second square and distance is again meter so the unit of work that is joule is 1 joule is equals to 1 kg 1 meter square per second square so this is the value of 1 joule if i want to convert it into cgs unit how it is being converted convert this cgs kilogram into 1000 grams meters in centimeters so now please see there are double meters 1 meter into 1 meter so it is 1 meter into 1 meter means 100 centimeter into 100 cm second will remain as it is so second raised to power minus 2 so count the zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so it becomes 10 raised to power 7 gram cm square per second square so this cm gram per gram cm square per second square is known as erg and hence One joule is equals to ten raised to the power seven erg. So this is the relation. So this can come in your exam. So please note it down on your notebooks as it is a very important topic for from the exam point of view. So this is the extra question which is not included in your book, but I am giving you because sometime it's come in your exam. So this may come in ninth as well as in tenth also. So it's better to learn from right now. So now comes to the other units of heat. So the first other unit which we are talking about is heat. Special name for the heat unit of heat is calorie. No doubt we are talking about energy, but energy is having the unit joule. But when we are specifying our unit for heat only, not for any other form of energy, then the unit which comes to in our mind, the first unit is calorie. The other unit is kilocalories. So from the word kilo, it's very clear. We always put the Value thousand. So one kilo calories equals to thousand calories. Now we have two units of energy, heat energy. One is joule, other is kilo calories and calories. So we have the relation between these two. That is joule and calorie. One calories equals to four point one eight six joule. So by rounding it off, we will find the value four point two joules. So up till we have finished the energy. and its unit with the relationship between the various units